DJ Pro for the iPhone is filled with a lot of amazing features and one of the best is Neural Mix. So in this video, I'm going to show you everywhere you can find Neural Mix on the app for the phone and how to use it. So here we are in classic mode. We're going to go through all of the different view modes and show you about Neural Mix. So right here, the easiest and quickest way to access Neural Mix is going to be down here. There are these two ends. You could press that. And now you have a Neural Mix isolator. So play the song. So just like that, one of the easiest ways to isolate the Neural Mix. And then now we always had that feature, but with the update, we could access other features such as effects and skip. But for right now, we're talking about Neural Mix and I'll get to this mute effects feature in a little bit. Really cool feature. So the next way to access Neural Mix is going to be over here. These buttons in the corner, you could access your features. So the first one's going to be Neural Mix. So here we have pretty much the most we could do with Neural Mix. So let's start at the top. We could do the drop down menu. You could do two bands all the way up to four bands. I like doing three. I think it's how the best way to control it. And then now these are sliders. So you could take out the drums, slide out the harmonics, slide out the vocals. Just like that works really well. Next is going to be isolator, just like the button down here. So we're going to isolate the vocals with this one. And then these buttons here are going to get rid of that stem. So to get rid of vocals, we'll press this one. And now I want to show you how this new mute effects work. So there's this button here. So if it's off, it won't be highlighted. If you turn it on, it's highlighted in like green or yellow over there. And now there's only one effect at the moment, but hopefully we'll get more. So this is an echo out. So you could either do one beat to a half beat. So it's going to add like an echo resonance when you get rid of the vocals. It makes it sound cleaner and more polished. So I'm going to show you with it off, and then I'll show you with it on. So when we isolate the vocals, I mean get rid of the vocals. So it just, it just switches to drums only. And now if we put it on... And it adds that echo. It sounds sounds really cool. That's one of my favorite new Neural Mix features because it just makes it sound so much more professional and polished and good. So now there's going to be another way to access Neural Mix, and that is going to be here in the middle. This one, one of these features is new. So we're going to press this middle button here. So that's how you get to your mixer. We have a mixer section. And then we have this button here. And then you could have your equalizer, a regular traditional equalizer that you'd think of with two turntables and a mixer or a regular controller. And then the next one is a Neural Mix EQ. So instead of lows, mids, and highs, you could take out the drums or the vocals or the harmonics. So. so like that, a cool way to use Neural Mix, but an even cooler way and my new favorite way is if you press the drop down menu again, we have a neural mix EQ. We have a neural mix crossfader. So we could do the vocals of one side, drums of the other side. This is my favorite way to do uh, mashups. Makes it so much easier to see which side has the vocals, which side has the drum, and it is a great feature. Next is going to be in our waveforms. So here we have our waveforms. And if we take out the vocals, you could see the waveform changes. Anything you do in Neural Mix is going to be reflected inside of the waveforms. So same thing in Pro Mode. Now we could do more stuff at the same time. Take away vocals, take away harmonics, take away drums. So that's nothing. Bring the drums, bring the harmonics, bring the vocals. So even though it's a small device, it's just a phone, you could do pretty much anything you would expect with Neural Mix and let your creativity run wild. And if you want to see all of the new features for the 5.3 update for the phone, check out this video over here. Thank you.